This is uh, the Petit Verdot that our crews were harvesting this morning at starting at 3 o'clock. And uh, it's here waiting to be processed along with everything else that you can see from the pallets of fruit they still have to go through. Uh, they're going through all the Cabernet first and they'll get to the Petit Verdot next. So at this point, you know, they're trying to be efficient and not switch back and forth for, for varieties. It's just a matter of process and going through and getting the fruit onto the conveyor to get the initial leaves and stuff out of the uh, boxes and then sending it up the conveyor into the Vaseline, which would be the destemmer. And from the destemmer, it goes back down onto the optic sorter, where the optic sorter program is set up in parameters for what might be happening in that particular uh, block of grapes or that variety. And then from there, it goes up another conveyor and into these holding tanks that they can move around on the floor and position onto whichever tank that lot of fruit is supposed to be designated for. What it is, is an optics order with a bunch of eyes, and if the computer program is such for certain parameters, whether it's too much raisins, color, size of berries, or whatever, it will literally blow those defects off of that small space in a matter of microseconds as that fruit is passing by at eight tons to the hour. And we see in the debris box, there's berries, there's some raisins, there's leaves, there's fragments, there's caps, and all kinds of things. And it's taken all that away from what is actually going into these tanks that are here on the floor. Uh, and once they run the day's process, they can take those bins and rerun them and change the program a little bit to extract maybe a little bit more uh, grapes and grape juice because perhaps optic sorter is not really defect, taking off all the defects. So they can run it back through and get the juice out of there and continue making the wine from that.